welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you're here for today's video. We are going to be creating an accent wall in our little breakfast nook. And one of the things that I have said since we first looked at this house before we even bought it was I can't wait to get some texture onto these walls and give this house some character. So we're gonna do just that today. We are going to do a beautiful board and batten and we're going to paint it the same color as our trim in our home and our doors, which is Heather by Dunn Edwards. It is a beautiful color. It's so calming and peaceful. And so I'm really excited to bring you all along. We're gonna do a brief tutorial of how we are creating this accent wall and how you can do board and batten. It's such an affordable, fairly simple DIY project, and it really makes such a difference in any space. So I'm excited for that today. And now I'm just gonna show the before. You can see some footage of the space before we jump right in, and then We'll kind of share the process and of course the after. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to join our YouTube family. It is totally free and we would love to have you hanging around with us and along for the journey as we continue to make our house at home. We love to share all things home over on this channel from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. Okay, friends, before we jump right in, I do want to share about my sweet friend Brenda over at Cozyaholic. Brenda has the most relaxing, serene, and peaceful decorating style, and I gather so much inspiration from her. I know you guys will too. I'm going to link her channel down below as well as the video that she is sharing today. Don't miss it. It's going to be so good. I just know it, and I hope that you guys will go and check her out. Okay, so here is some before footage of our breakfast nook space. And as you can see, while we do have some contrast with our trim and our doors being colored, um, we do have a lot of white in this area and it just felt like too much to me. So my solution was either adding some texture to the walls or switching out the furniture and adding texture is something that I love to do. And it's also more affordable than swapping out all of the furniture in this space just to add a little bit more color and character. So we went with the route of adding board and batten. You can see that Chad has already ripped out the old trim that was in this space and he is uh, just putting in a new piece that is going to sit nice and flush with the other boards that we're using for this project. So he is just using his um, nail gun to adhere those to the wall. So the next step was deciding how high we wanted our top board to be. And you can really just get creative here and decide based on your own personal taste. There's no right or wrong when it comes to board and batten. Um, and so we decided to go with like shoulder height. Uh, originally we were gonna go about waist height and then just kind of thought about it over some time and felt like that wasn't going to really create the dramatic look that we were going for in here and um, just really wanting to cozy up and warm up this space with that heather color. And so. I am so glad that we ended up going a good bit higher than we had originally planned. I'm so excited for y'all to see how it turned out because I think this was definitely the best decision for this space. 
One thing that we decided to do kind of as we were going along is wrap this board and batten accent wall right around the corner because we have about a two foot section of wall that it just really made sense to go ahead and tie this around the side. You'll see once it's all finished, it really looks good and just tied it all in together. You guys, we were fighting the worst stomach virus I think of all time. It took about seven days to go all the way through our family and it was awful. And so we were working at just the most random times whenever we felt like we had it in us and could actually get out of bed. So the lighting is a little crazy in this video, um, but just bear with me. It's just a great project. We're so happy that we did it and we pushed through and we're so glad that it's done now. But if you are looking for just a great, simple uh, way to add some text to your walls. This again is just an affordable project. If we weren't sick, we totally could have gotten this done start to finish in one day. It really is just that simple. So as far as the boards that we used, you really can go with whatever width and depth you want to. I've seen so many different board and batten walls out there that differ in size and height. Um, so you just choose what works for you. I will link what we use down in the video description below. Now Chad's going in before painting and adding a nice layer of caulk and then it's all done. Now that the paint has dried, we are just going to move everything back and I'm gonna do a little bit of very early spring decorating and just add some nice touches of greenery to this space and just get it all decorated. So stay tuned for that in just a couple of minutes. Okay friends, we are gonna take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, which is Magic Spoon. You know, growing up, I have so many memories of going grocery shopping with my dad and picking out my favorite cereals and eating them in the morning before rushing off to school. But times have changed and so has cereal. Unfortunately, today's cereals are mostly filled with sugar and other harmful ingredients. Insert Magic Spoon, the cereal that has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs. And only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and kid and adult proved in our household. There's so many different amazing flavors that you can choose from, from the best-selling cocoa to fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, and maple waffle flavors, plus other awesome flavors including blueberry and cinnamon. My personal favorites have to be the fruity and the peanut butter. Click on the link down below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code HOUSEANDHOME for $5 off. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money no questions asked. So click the link down below and use the code HOUSEANDHOME for $5 off or go to Magic magicspoon.com backslash house and home to save five dollars off your order today and also for my canadian and british friends magic spoon is now shipping to canada and the uk okay friends let's go ahead and get back to this diy <music>
It really is just the best feeling when you are dreaming up a project and it turns out exactly how you had envisioned. And I am so pleased with this space. It just feels so warm and cozy and lived in now. I absolutely adore the color Heather by Dunn Edwards, which is what we used on this board and batten. It's also on our kitchen cabinets, on our trim, and on all of our doors. We get asked about it all the time and it truly is just such a beautiful color. Now in here I added some greenery. I wanted to bring out some of my plants. I shopped my home and found some pieces that I have just been using it in storage and it was great to bring them out and just add a few touches of spring into our home. The birds are chirping every morning and the weather is warming up here in Charlotte. We're having lots of 60 and 70 degree days and I just wanted the inside of my home to kind of be a reflection of the outside. So we brought in just lots of plants and um, I also wanted to bring in some different wooden elements to this area. Um, some seagrass, as you can see the beautiful seagrass bag hanging on the little hook that we ended up hanging. This little hook is a wooden hook from Hearth and Hand and I actually have this in a couple other places in our home. Um, but I was just waiting to hang this one, waiting to have the perfect place for it and I felt like that was right here. I love adding baskets to our walls because of the texture that it adds and seagrass is one of my favorites to have out for the spring and the summer. I wanted to create a balance between displaying some of my white dishes and also adding in some greens, some little springy pieces, like this beautiful little bunny. This one is available in our shop. And then I also brought in some beautiful candle holders. These are also available in our shop and I'll have them linked down below. I love the rustic feel that they give to any space. And then I have to show y'all this recent antique find. This is a butter press and it is gorgeous. I think it could also be called a butter stamper, but it's beautiful and it was just a piece I knew I had to have and wanted to display out in my home and I felt like my hutch was the perfect place to do that. Our hutch was a Facebook Marketplace find, gosh, maybe two or three years ago, and we painted it alabaster, and I do love it, but my taste has changed a little bit over the years, and I would like to replace the hardware on this with maybe some antique brass to kind of tie into our kitchen. So that is a project that I am hoping to do before too long, but I do think even with the black accents, it still looks really pretty in this space. Alrighty, that wraps up my video today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join our YouTube family. Don't forget to use my code house and home to get $5 off your delicious, healthy magic spoon cereal. And I'll have the link down below in my video description. Bye friends.